our new vulnerable machine today is the Ether, which is a vulnerable machine that was added to the vulnerable hub website. And I will add the download link for this vulnerable machine in the description of the video. So basically, the challenge is, or the developer of the, this challenge is <coughs> trying to tell us that the Ether is at a research, research and development company which specializes in developing and advancing in uh, products, medical products for advancing the human health care. Basically, the Ether company recently has developed some kind of drug uh, called the Elixir, that which she which it claims that it will um, changes the human welfare into the better. So basically, our challenge is to figure out that this claim is bullshit. Okay. And the company or the research co company here is trying to develop a uh, product which will cause so much harm to the human welfare. So basically, first you will see this web page when you open the IP address of the vulnerable um, <coughs> machine. Of course, of course, after scanning the vulnerable machine, let me. If you scan the vulnerable machine, um, let's say scan for serv uh, services, running services. We are not interested in the operating system for this vulnerable machine. <coughs> so basically, you will see two kind of protocols are running on this vulnerable machine. The one is HTTP and the other is SSH. So I will leave the scan box here, okay, to run on its own, and I will explain to you the basic steps to get to gain root access to this vulnerable machine. So first, okay, so here you can see the uh, SSH port and the HTTP port, okay. So let's close this. If you try to scan the vulnerable machine with Nikto or any or application vulnerability scanner, I don't think that you will gain much. A convenient results as I as I have experienced so much error and trail in order to have the main vulnerability exposed in this website so basically let's let me okay let's turn off if we go to about us or if you go to research okay, you will, we will see that there is a file being displayed okay and the parameter is file okay so first thing comes to mind is it's three kind of vulnerabilities that might be existed in this uh, shape here so here I can think of directory traversal I can think of uh, lo uh, RCE command injection I can think of local file inclusion remote file inclusion but after a bit of scanning a bit of fuzzing I figured out that the main or the dry path to get is using local file inclusion vulnerability. So, if we, I'm going to show you the basic uh, way to do this. Okay, so I will turn this on. Okay, and I will click on enter. <coughs> so here, I will have this. I will send this to intruder. Uh, okay now I will go to intruder and make sure all the settings are all right go to positions and the position has already been marked for me automatically by Burp suite and here I will go to payloads and the uh, right payload to use for this kind of vulnerability is to use local file inclusion vulnerability local file inclusion word list developed by secure master word list i will put the disk uh, the link for the download this word list in the description of the video so if we click on load <coughs> and okay it's already here so secure list master fuzzing and here you should select I think um, okay this word list LFI.txt okay because I'm not gonna uh, select it and implement it right now because I have 
done this so so I'm gonna just uh, uh, let you let you uh, informed with the basic steps uh, to get this done so after selecting this payload okay you will let the perp suit run the attack and you will see that the um, let me get back here no here okay you will see that the main uh, Okay, well, you'll see that the main inclusion that works is var log of log. So basically, this inclusion is a kind of inclusion that will display the content of the log file, as you will see here. So you will mark this and click on intercept response, and you click forward. <coughs> you will see here the response or the content of the log file of the log you will see that the, the log file here displays all the sessions or session items done on the ssh server as you can see here you will see also here that <coughs> i tested this log by trying to log in to the SSH server I'm gonna if, if you if you try to let me pull up a new uh, ter terminal here okay let me close this Okay, so if I try to SSH, for example, root, okay, if I go back to my browser my purpose and if I click on forward okay going back here again and let me display again the content of the log file <coughs> I should see my last looking attempt Okay, here we go. As you can see, connection closed by 192.168.119.129. This is the last login log entry that has been added to the log file as a result of me trying to log into the SSH um, server. And as the case with any file, with any parameter, with anything that takes input from the user, okay now my input here is my attempt to log into the ssh server and here i have the ssh uh, server logs so if i try to manipulate the input and try to display some content here that i desire okay if you got my point i will try to test the uh, mechanism in which the log file sanitize the uh, logs uh, caused by the user for example if i pull up a new terminal here and okay <clears throat> now here whatever i type here for example if i try to look into using another user for example my name for example okay one nine two one six eight one nine one three six this login attempt is taken as an input and is logged in the log file uh, in the web in the uh, vulnerable uh, server okay so if i try to poison that input okay and let the log file take some kind of input uh, uh, that will be beneficial for me for example if i try to let the log file take some kind of parameter to uh, leverage some kind of um, CMD on the system 
Okay, if I write, for example, PHP, PHP code, press SSH, PHP, and I will try to get <coughs> of course system um, okay now at one nine one six eight one nine one three six Oops, we forgot the um so expected token. So if I go back here Okay, I'll try this to remove the What's the problem here? Aqua system get CMD I try to put quotes. <coughs> Saying that there's a problem with the parentheses. Okay, let's not waste time on this. Uh, if I try to get CMD on the log file, I will show you here that. If I click on forward, okay. Now, here, if I click on enter, I will show you how we can leverage this. Okay, now, after we saw that the uh, vulnerable inclusion in the log file, we can spawn a CMD on the vulnerable machine by poisoning the log file with a PHP uh, CMD, as you can see. Now, <clears throat> For example, you will see that I used some kind of Python script or Python reverse shell in order to connect back to my machine. Okay, while well, after uh, you have to uh, write this uh, reverse shell in URL encoding, so you can visit URL encoder here or decoder and encode your Python script to be URL uh, in the URL language. You can use the many, many and various scripts, for example, you can use Bureau script, Python, PHP reverse shell, whatever you you, you, you see convenient, you can use it for uh, the uh, command injection vulnerability. Of course, you can try uh, <coughs> to use, for example, if we type ls, okay, and we intercept the response You will see here the content, the content of the temp directory. Okay. So after you make your mind with which uh, reverse shell to use, uh, I, uh, you will see that you will gain reverse shell on the vulnerable mach uh, machine. I will show you here. So let me close this. And I think, let me use, okay. Now, <clears throat> here, I got a connection back from the vulnerable machine, as you can see, after I, I set up 
my listener on my attacking machine and as you can see I got a reverse shell connection here I listed the content of the directory file temp directory and I saw a Python file which seems to represent the log file being stored on the system I run this file as sudo and I could run the file as you can see here okay now for conv for convenient reasons I downloaded a, 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 a Python listener on the uh, vulnerable machine using this command okay I gave it the permissions and then run this command now on the other side of my attacking machine because I, I, I feel comfortable using uh, and dealing with Python shells so here I connected to the vulnerable machine using my Python script and here I got the same session running on this box this is the same session running on this box okay but the difference is here I have a normal shell netcat shell here I have Python uh, shell okay so here I run this file as sudo and as you can see here the file is uh, giving me choices to select which log file I want to display so previously I saw that this log file is vulnerable to poisoning so I select to, to display the content of this file and I piped the output to run the Python script which is bind2.py which is another Python script that listen on other ports to connect back to my attacking machine in another box so surprisingly here let me okay here I set up a kind of listener on the uh, on this box and I connected back to this listener from my attacking machine okay now I had the root access to this vulnerable machine because I use this file to run this command which which got me a shell back on the vulnerable machine so basically this file the log file is the main player here so after uh, the main reason that is I ran this file using sudo and this file ran as root okay so anything that this file does on the vulnerable machine is uh, done using root access or by root privilege so here I, got, I have root access to this vulnerable machine using another python uh, shell so here after I have root access I displayed the content of the root file which is here a flag of png <coughs> I ran strings on the flag and I had you will see here page 64 which is here page 64 contents after decoding the contents let's maximize the screen after decoding the contents the all of the secrets and the <coughs> controversial products that are being developed by the company all of them are revealed to the player here as you can see and all of the requirements have been met so the main the main the main objective of this vulnerable machine is to figure out what the company is up to <coughs> so basically that's it as you saw it's very easy just so you need to know how to um, use Python uh, PHP shells, reverse shells, and dealing with log files and sanitizing or unsanitizing log files, taking inputs, etc.